So in today's video, we're talking about Lamb of God, the band from Richmond, Virginia. This is a, a 2000s uh, metal band. They play like a groove metal, some say like metalcore as well. And this new album is called Omens, released on October 7th, 2022. This is the uh, album number nine in their discography. So with the lineup, we got John Campbell on bass, uh, Mark Morton on guitars, Willie Adler on guitars, Randy Blythe on vocals, and um, a new drummer who's, well, he's kind of new. His name is Arturo Art Cruz. He kind of replaced the longtime drummer, uh, Chris Adler. This album was released on Epic Records. And their last album before this was uh, their self-titled one. That one came out on June 19, 2020. When this one came out, uh, my channel wasn't, you know, I didn't start my channel yet, but I, I remember I did do like a mini, like end of the year review. So that one did make one of my lists in 2020. And I enjoyed that last album, but I think this one is, is good. It's not great. There are like three songs that I like a lot and the rest were kind of like, uh, you know, just good. Okay. So I'm going to start with the three songs that I just like really love for this album. And the first one is uh, basically the single, the title track, Omens. This is just a classic uh, groove metal song. It's classic Lamb of God. Very uh, like a thought-provoking feeling. And uh, I really lo like the lyrics in the chorus. You know, they talk about like, you know, do you see the omens? Really great lyrics. And what I like about this song is uh, the guitar work. You got lots of heavy ri riffing. You got those galloping guitars, you got the rhythms, you got that nice groove sound. The drumming is on point in this song. Randy Blythe, really great vocals on this, and uh, this is just one of my favorites. Now, my next two favorites are like right at the tail end of this album. First one is called uh, Denial Mechanism. This is just brutal groove metal. I like this so much because it reminds me of the song like Fucking Hostile by Pantera. This one of those songs comes right out the gate, just kind of hits you. You're just knocks you right over. Very, just very angry, uh, just very energetic. And this is one of those songs with that like heavy, like a punk rock attitude. You know, if you didn't know this, um, Randy Blythe, he, he's always said that he was more of a punk rock fan than a metal fan. So you can see that influence coming in here. Super fast song. It's short, two and a half minutes. Just great harsh vocals and one of my favorites. And um, one of my favorites, possibly my favorite, is the final song called September Song. This one is just more melodic groove metal and a little bit of like that progressive death metal. Um, the intro reminded me of like Opeth from the like, like Blackwater Park days. And then afterwards the song progresses and goes into just like this classic uh, Lamb of God sound. And it just is like old school Lamb of God, like Ashes in the Wake style, just like really great riffing. Very angry lyrics, talking about like the whole like state of the world and, and the decay and all that stuff. Lots of great heavy guitar riffs, but the best riffs come towards the end. Like first is like the near four minute mark. This is really awesome, like classic riffs. And then at the near like five, or about the five minute mark, there's like this awesome like galloping guitars. Drumming is great, super fast, the drumming is on point. You got the harsh vocals by Randy Blythe. Really sound really good. And uh, they do some of those like chanting types of vocals like towards the end. So that kind of adds like a little flavor to it. And this is just an awesome song. Now uh, for the rest of the album, it's, you know, okay. I'm not saying it's all filler, but it's uh, it's decent. I would say um, afterwards, I would say the best song would be Grayscale. That's the other single classic groove metal, classic Lamb of God. Just very angry type of feeling. Uh, Great riffs, those great like uh, guitar squeals, uh, kind of like the way like Dimebag Darrow used to do that a lot in the Pantera albums. Uh, they, they do that a lot here. Galloping guitar rhythms, uh, the drumming is great. Uh, harsh vocals, and they do some of those like spoken type of vocals, and Lamb of God do that a lot. And just a very good song. And the opener I like a lot, Nevermore. Classic uh, groove metal, uh, classic uh, Lamb of God. Decent opener, not the best opener, but... They probably could have opened with uh, the, the title track, Omens. But anyway, talking about society in decline, lots of heavy riffs. They do some isolated riffs, pretty cool guitar solo. Uh, you know, Mark Morton, he's just a really great guitar player. Fast-paced drumming, and uh, 
Really good. You got the three types of vocals, the spoken vocals, the harsh vocals, and this is one of those rare songs where they added in a little like melodic vocals. And it's really a good opener. So I'll talk about the rest of the songs real quick. These are the ones that are just kind of okay. They didn't really stand out, but uh, I wouldn't say filler, but they're good. So Vanishing, kind of pretty cool groove metal, dark themes, uh, technical riffing, um, short breakdown. That one's okay. To the Grave, um, the classic Lamb of God sounds. Another like one of those like dark songs with like the technical riffing. Uh, you got the harsh vocals, the spoken vocals. Uh, you know, Randy does some screams in that one. And then followed by Ditch, which is just uh, kind of groove metal. This one kind of goes back to kind of a classic Pantera sound, but it's it's okay. You know, talking about a lift by the hand, you're dealt. They mention that in the lyrics, uh, cleaning the store the guitar. So there's a little variety in this one, but this one was a little better. It's decent. Then uh, towards the end of the album, Gomorra, kind of like slow alternative metal intro. That was pretty cool, but the rest of the song's okay. Catchy chorus, uh, talking about things being doomed to fail. They do add in some like clean riffs. I like that part. A little slower, a little more atmospheric, so that's pretty cool. It's you know, kind of towards the middle of the album, kind of gives you like a little breather. Harsh vocals, um, but it's okay. Then uh, Ill Designs, I think that's what it's called. Um, just pretty cool groove metal, um, heavy riffs, chunky riffs. Uh, good, not great. And um, that's pretty much the whole album. So, like I said, it's a good album. Not like the the greatest Lamb of God album at all, but I think it's a decent follow-up to the uh, self-titled. Like I said, three great songs, and then the rest of the songs are decent. Um, production sounds good. I think, the, you know, the guitar tone sounds really good. You know, you can hear those riffs really well. I think if you're a fan of uh, Lamb of God, I've heard some people say they didn't like it. Some people said it was okay, but I don't think anybody's giving it, like, really great praise. But it's a decent album. My score would be uh, 7.5 out of 10. And uh, let me know what you thought in the comment section. And that is all. My next video will be uh, Queen's Rec. So uh, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.